In this video, I will talk more about uh, quantum block technology. So in previous video, we saw um, ways to get um, end portal triumphs and falling never portals in 1.12.2. And relatively soon, we will also publish videos about how to get all other falling blocks, like uh, the theory for the generic falling block that has already been completely figured out and it's just uh, a matter of time now. Um, but what I want to discuss in this video is what you do with the following blocks after you upgrade to a, a more recent version. So currently the most recent release version is 1.18. I will uh, explain how you can preserve your following blocks in 1.18 and even um, get some use out of them. Most following blocks just drop as an item and in that case you don't want to bother with the following blocks. But uh, there are also some following blocks which do not drop as an item or which drop an item which cannot be used in survival. So for example the following command block drops a command block item, but you can not actually place it down in survival. So if you want to place a command block anywhere in the world, what you need to do is you need to preserve the falling block and then place down the falling block. Now to um, make the falling block survive, we need first need to understand how the age tag of uh, falling blocks works. Because uh, the thing is that falling blocks can only fall normally for the first 30 seconds which they spend in entity processing chunks. And after they become older than 30 seconds, they um, get to a new state where they all need, they need to be on ground and if they spend a single game tick where they are not on ground then they um, delete themselves. Now usually when a falling block is on ground it will just land and the only way to prevent a falling block which is on ground from landing is by having it inside a block 36. So for example this falling never fought right here is inside a block 36 right now. Like you can't see the block 36 but it's there and it's movable. Um, and the block 36 can either be like a block 36 uh, without tile data, like here, but you can also use a block 36 um, with tile data. So you can, for example, just make a system clock, like here. And um, then if, you, if you have a falling block there, then uh, the falling block will just survive on top of the piston clock. Over here, we have a flying machine which moves around a falling block. So um, if I just activate the piston clock and summon in the falling block. Um, then we have here a um, flag machine in 1.18, which um, will um, keep the falling block alive, even when it's more than 30 seconds old, and it will just transport it along. Um, so um, you can preserve the falling blocks and move them in 1.18 uh, without any problem. Uh, the next thing I want to mention is that falling blocks cannot go through never portals. If you have a falling block, you can let it go through an end portal to um, get into the end or into the overworld from the end. And it can go through end gateways. So if you have a network of um, talentless end gateways, which link up with other end gateways uh, very far out, then you can very effectively transport falling blocks around in the end. But um, falling blocks cannot use the never portals. And this means that if you have a falling block in the never, you can get it from the never into the end using an end portal. But there's no way to get a falling block which is outside of the never back into the never. You can only go from the never into the end, and then you can go back and forth um, between end and overworld. Now, um, one of the most important things for 1.18 is the fact that you can make actually a falling block land without losing the falling block, because there is still the send duplication bug using end portals, and the send duplication bug, of course, also works for all other falling blocks, and this means that if you have a falling block entity, and an end portal block, then you can make the falling block entity go through the end portal block, but also land directly next to the end portal block, and then you have the block placed down, but you still have the entity. So um, next I will show how to make a falling block land without losing the falling block. So right here we have a falling never portal, and over here we have a piston clock to keep it alive. And what we um, then have here is a contraption which will um, put it through this end portal, and um, if you have end portal frame items, then you can build the end portal anywhere you want. So you can place it down wherever you want the falling block. Um, and, and if I now click this lever, then it will activate the contraption and we will see um, it placed down the falling block right here. So now we have here um, never portal in, in the end, place it down. But if we now go into the overworld um, and look somewhere around here, then we will be able to see that we also have um, right here in the piston clock um, a never portal, um, like the falling never portal is still there. So um, we um, have placed down the falling never portal in the end, but we also still kept uh, the falling block. So um, let me quickly reset the contraption. So um, the reason we need a complicated contraption to um, keep the falling block alive in the overworld is that uh, when the falling block arrives in the overworld in 1.18, 
it will uh, look for the highest block in the subchunk. It will place itself directly above a block, so the falling block will arrive basically in the position of this glass block. And if the falling block is more than 30 seconds old, then it would next just fall down and uh, kill itself. And we don't want that. So what we need to do is we need to actually uh, CO tick upwards uh, the piston clock, which keeps the falling block alive in exactly uh, exactly one game tick after the falling block arrives here. And the way we do that is that we um, first take a that first send a minecart um, from the end into the overworld and when the minecart arrives it will uh, activate the contraption with some delay and we just do it with such a timing that minecart arrives a few game ticks before the falling block and the uh, zero tick uh, of this piston happens exactly one game tick before the falling block arrives and in this way you can keep the falling block al um, alive in the overworld and um, some useful blocks which you might want to place down using this technique are never puddled in the end and uh, Dataless gateways and maybe dataless block 36. And um, like dataless gateways and dataless block 36 are not difficult to get in 1.12. There are better methods for getting them instead of polling blocks, but if you play in recent versions, then polling blocks are actually the only way you can get dataless gateways and dataless block 36. One application of these uh, falling blocks would be that uh, you can render all transmutation methods obsolete by just linking everything um, together with bottles. Um, because what you can do if you have any two positions, let's say in the never, but it's uh, work in the overworld. Uh, what you can do is instead of building a piston bolt or a pearl cannon, you can just take an end portal to get to the main island of the end dimension. Then from the main island of the end dimension, you can use a gateway to get to the um, thousand block gateway uh, wing. This is where all the talentless uh, gateways link up to, to like a wing which has like a radius between 700 and 1000 blocks. And then from there, you can go with an end gate to any position anywhere in the world, because if you have any position anywhere in the end, you can put a dataless gateway there and it will link up to the thousand block radius gateway wing. And if you then have a um, never portal at this position, um, then you can go to, to your second position. Um, so any two um, positions anywhere in the overworld and never can just be linked up to uh, dataless gateways. And uh, what makes this possible is that we can now place never portals in the end by just having a falling never portal and making it land in the end. Um, then uh, another um, application of uh, falling never portals and like never portals in the end um, is gateway transdimensionality. But I should mention that this uh, works in 1.12.2 only. This does not work in newer versions anymore, but it's uh, interesting enough that I want to mention it anyway. Um, because in 1.12.2, there is a bug that if you use a never portal in the end um, and go to the never, then your player will not just appear in the never, but it will also be registered in the end in the chunk of the same coordinates, provided that this uh, chunk is loaded. So if you just keep the chunk loaded, just the same coordinate as the chunk in which you end up in the never, then uh, you will also have some kind of ghost player um, in the end, basically. And if you then go to the coordinate of an end gateway, then the end gateway will actually find the player, and then the player will be teleported as if uh, he was using the gateway. And this allows you to use end gateways while being in the never, and that's um, quite interesting. So right here we have an end gateway at coordinate uh, 50, 50, 10. And um, if we go a little bit far away to roughly eight times these coordinates and have here a never portal in the end. And if we also make sure that we keep the chunk loaded with the end gateway. And then we can go through here. And then um, 50, 50, 10 will be precisely this block, so at least from that's where end gateway is in the end, and if I now touch this, then I will get teleported by the end gateway in the end, even though I'm in the never. Other than that, I want to uh, push some Discord here, namely the Threadstone Archive Discord. It's a Discord where you can discuss falling block technology and ask questions, and um, then there are people who actually know stuff and answer it, so like there's now like official public Discord about falling block stuff. So um, yeah, uh, you find the link in the description and you can join it if you want. That's everything. Bye.